Hi, I'm Joe Walensky from Blink, and I'm talking to some of the presenters that will be at the Convey UX conference. Uh, today, I'm speaking with Bill Albert. Hello, Bill. How are you? Good. How are you, Joe? Ah, everything's good. Uh, where are you talking to us from today? Um, I'm at uh, Bentley University, which is in Waltham, Massachusetts, just outside of Boston. All right. Well, if you're not familiar with Bill, he's the Executive Director of the User Experience Center at Bentley. Uh, he's also co-editor of the Journal of Usability Studies, uh, and relevant to the topic he's going to be talking about, he's an author of the book Measuring the User Experience. Uh, Bill, your, your topic is the role of metrics in a UX strategy, so uh, why don't you tell us a little bit about that? Sure. Um, so I've been dealing with UX metrics for quite a few years now, and one of the things that I've seen is how um, many individuals, organizations, don't use metrics at all, or maybe very little, or they don't use them very effectively. And so what I wanted to do is kind of, in my talk, is kind of take a step back and really think about metrics uh, in a broader way to see how can we use UX metrics to identify problems with products um, or identify new opportunities for um, products or services or functionality what have you and then how we can kind of take metrics throughout the product development life cycle um, whether it's um, evaluating a product um, during kind of an iterative design cycle um, or uh, toward the end when we want to validate and kind of get a go no go decision on launching a new piece of software or a website or a mobile app. Um, metrics measurement is, is such a key part of business and knowing that you're making the right decisions and you're spending your money wisely and you're moving toward kind of a strategic goal. What I wanted to do is say hey listen let's expand this idea of business metrics to include UX metrics. Um, kind of is is part of that to be um, kind of give us a seat at the table with I guess uh, leadership within an organization so at a high level that's that's basically what I want to talk about and uh, the uh, the type of metrics that uh, you're gonna be talking about you talk about in your, your book do you, do you see that as as an area that more people in the UX community n need to embrace are, are there any like skills or gaps there that you think the community needs yeah. to think about? Yeah, definitely. I mean, I think that it's, you know, in the UX community, certainly in the last five years, is sort of um, embracing more kind of not just the qualitative side of research, but also the quantitative side. Um, but everybody can kind of sharpen their, their skill sets, um, you know, whether it's, you know, doing some basic stats or getting their hands dirty with the data set or even just thinking about the types of metrics that would be relevant for their business. Um, so definitely see some great opportunities within the UX community to kind of think a little bit more um, deeply about UX data. Yeah. Um, so, yeah. so have you been uh, working on uh, new material? Is there uh, another version of your book? That, that might be coming out? Um, sure. Actually, actually, as a matter of fact, um, the second edition of our Measuring UX book that I co-wrote with Tom Tullis uh, just came out in, I think, July. And um, so that's available. Um, and we teach courses at Bentley on it um, uh, as well. So, And, and I, I jump around to a few conferences every year uh, talking about not just metrics, but strategy and, and kind of other topics near and dear to my heart. All right, great. Well, uh, thanks for taking a few minutes to talk about uh, this with us, and we'll see you in Seattle in February. Looking forward to it.